Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 248 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we have a really, really exciting day today because we are going to drop Bumblebee off at the airport. <laughs> yes! Woo! South America is over. Goodbye, nice room. This room was just 14 pounds a night, which is not too bad. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it's really nice and we had a very nice soft bed this time no plastic <laughs> my head this morning <laughs> absolutely amazing <laughs> hello buenas we're here in the city of bogota in colombia there's bumblebee and um, we got here two days ago and yesterday don't know if you guys can see but we got bumblebee cleaned up look at this look so so clean so shiny. It's crazy. It looks like a different bike. Actually, it looks like that we exchanged Bumblebee, but we did it. It's still the same bike. It was literally just around the corner from the hotel. It cost three pounds. And um, I left Bumblebee with them for an hour. And it, Bumblebee came out like this. It's absolutely unbelievable. And of course, we've got our brand new tire at the back, the Metzler Caru Street, which is a 7030 tire. Gracias. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> so we've got 3.6 miles to get over to the office of the company who's going to be shipping the bike. I think it's near the airport. The company is called Cargo Rider. Our contact is Veronica. And she told us we've got to be there at 8.30 to drop the bike off this morning and start the process of getting Bumblebee out of South America and over to Panama. Yes, and today we do a really good German move because <laughs> our navigation says we will arrive at five past eight. So we will be really nice and early. <laughs> okay, we right. have to turn here. Yes. The costs to fly the bike is 1,250 US dollar. And it's pretty cool because we can apparently leave all our luggage on as well. Yeah, that is really cool, hey? Otherwise we would have to like pay for a lot of additional baggage at the airport. Yes, Veronica is really friendly actually and really cool to deal with. She's always like replying and tells us everything we need to know and we need to do. She's a really, really good um, person to work with. Yeah, she's been amazing. <laughs> Compared to our <laughs> container shipping from Africa to South America, which was absolutely the biggest nightmare in the world this has been really really smooth actually so far so after we arrive there i think there's a whole lot of stuff we've got to do with customs and we apparently we may have to stay there for like the whole day yeah. but um there is a flight at 6 p.m this evening that we could take to get over to panama um, so if we manage to get everything sorted by then then we will also be leaving south america today Otherwise, we'll head out tomorrow morning. It's 2.7 miles over to the office. So yeah, our last little mini ride in South America. Yes, I'm so sad. But we did get a chance to see at least some of Bogota yesterday. After we cleaned Bumblebee, we uh, had a chance to go out into the city. And visited the Gold Museum. De tu nido, paloma linda, anda y prueba tu volar. No tengas miedo, mi palomita, que nada te va a pasar. Anda y prueba tus alas bonitas, sin que el temor te limite. Vuela, paloma, bien alto, mi vida, no dudes que siempre amanece. I can tell you, there was a lot of gold there. <laughs> I have never seen so much gold like in one place. It was insane. Cool. Hello, buenos dias. 
<laughs> Nelly, Oli, Lavi. Hola, mucho gusto. <laughs> mucho gusto. So we are inside the cargo rider offices. We've given them my passport. We've given them the motorcycle documents, Bumblebee's passport. So let's hope everything goes nice and smooth. I will head now out and get us uh, a nice breakfast. Cargo rider is getting a Lavi and Oli sticker. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. Right next to Colonel S from El Salvador, Joe Siegel from Washington State, USA, on the Board of Legends. We follow you. Good. Awesome. So we've done the first part of the process, signed some stuff. I, I put my fingerprints on some paper, which is pretty cool. And now we're following Libardo over to the airport where we're going to sort out all the customs process with Bumblebee. Now will be our last ride in South America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe that we'd be shipping from, from this place, like they would box it up and pack it up from here, but no. No, we're riding over to the airport and then that will be the end of South America. Okay, please Libardo, don't drive like a madman. So we can say mentally now goodbye. I'm just glad we made it through, hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we spent, I don't know, six months or something here in South America. Day 168 to 346. So nearly 200 days. We are in the airport. Bumblebee's final approach. <laughs> Bumblebee's final approach to Bogota. El Dorado International Airport. <laughs> I love that the airport is called El Dorado, which is like the mythical city of gold. Ah, oh, here we go. Terminal de Carga. Oh. Cargo terminal. Okay. Cool. Cool. I wonder what company they're using to actually do the shipping. Yeah. It's funny, we can't really communicate in a very good way at the moment with these guys because everyone is speaking just Spanish. And we're sort of just translating like here and there something, but <laughs> it's quite funny. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Terminal de carga. <laughs> yeah. This has got to be the cutest little sniffer dog ever. <laughs> ah, yeah, see? Okay. Is it okay? Okay. Oh my God, I'm not going to ride over these things. Look at this. Wow. What, they let you through? Yeah. Don't they know how naughty you are? <laughs> oh, buenos dias, hola. Uh, Javier, Javier, Oli. Uh, mucho gusto. Vamos a la 178, la bodega. Uh, oh, mi español es no, no bueno. 178. 178, okay. So we've been transferred over to, I didn't say goodbye to uh, Libardo, did you? I think we'll probably meet him again. Okay, anyway, this Javier, just here. Yeah. I'll go nice and slow because I have yeah. no idea. I can't even see the numbers. I think this is like fi oh, yeah. 500, 400. Oh, yeah, I see them. Yep. Yep. So, one, seven, five, six, seven. I see it. Eight. Not sure if this is the way in, but anyway. Oh, it is. This is the wrong side of the road. Hola. This stuff is staying with us, and the rest of it staying with Bumblebee. I'm just doing what I'm told. 
I'm just so glad that we don't have to organize this ourselves and that everything is being handled by Cargo Rider and we're just like, go there, go there, go there, okay. So I think the guys, they're just going around and writing down some like spots where the bike has been damaged a little bit that we can't sue them at the end. No drama, Lama. <laughs> yes, yes, on the wall of dreams. Bye, Bumblebee, see you in Panama. All right, now we've got to do the process, I think with the police and then with customs, with Javier, and uh, we should be good. So we're just uh, waiting in the DM, the customs office. Javier is over there at one of the desks talking to one of the inspectors. So he's sorting out everything for us, which is really nice. And we're just, yeah, relaxing here. <laughs> it's so nice that we don't have to do anything. <laughs> we're just chilling, replying to some comments. Yeah, enjoying life. Maybe it looks like if the process is going quite nicely that we can actually take the plane today to Panama. So this is still 50-50, but so far it looks promising. We have to sign some documents we can't read. <laughs> sign here, please. Okay, so it looks like we're finished with the customs process apparently because Javier said we can go, but I don't know if we've got to do more stuff or if we're totally finished, but uh, we're just following Javier. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> So Javier just translated to us that actually everything's finished for us here. Um, we have nothing left to do, but we haven't paid Cargo Rider yet. So uh, we're going to get picked up by Veronica and we're going to go back to the office, pay, and then we're done. We can book our flight and we can head to Panama. Yes! So apparently we will get there today. Yes! One hour later. So Veronica was really nice and she dropped us off here at the airport and we wanted to check directly at the airline if we can hop on a flight here at six o'clock. But she told us, no way, there is no flight for today for you. Like everything is booked out. So now we're sitting here <laughs> eating our burger from yesterday. And we, yeah, we're a little bit lost, but it's okay. We just booked our flight for tomorrow, 11 a.m., which is quite nice and from now, we just have to check like if here are maybe some places around where we can stay and, and sleep for the night and then we have to return back tomorrow. But everything is done with Bumblebee and I'm super super happy and relieved. The cargo rider guys, they are just amazing. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. Oh, we will see you next time in Panama. <laughs> Panama, here we come. This has got to be the cutest little sniffer dog ever, 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 anywhere, everywhere, what? Ever. And uh, we've given them the, uh, what have we given them? <laughs>